Hey guys, we're uh, just about done with the software for the inclinometer here, and I wanted to give you a quick run through and show you where we're at. So here's the hardware you get. I call this the uh, backpack. It's going to attach to the back of a screen like that. Um, I have a little minor revision coming in the next circuit board. This is pretty much what it's going to look like. We got your power connector here, the screw terminal, so you can bring in 12 volts from the truck, or I'm going to include a little uh, 9 volt battery cap, so you can use that instead. If you don't want to use the screw terminal, when you're looking at the raw board here, if you see before you put the screw terminal on, you could just solder right to these posts here for voltage and ground. Um, here's a connector for the switch. This is that little navigation switch. So this goes up and then down and then pushes in to select. And has this JST connector, it's called. You can plug that in there so you can remove it if you need to. Again, if you know that you're never going to need to remove that, you can just. Uh, solder right to the board. So the little white plug switch connects to these tiny little holes here. But if you want, you can solder right to these bigger ones, solder a wire right through there. <clears throat> It'd be interesting if somebody's gonna, you know, mount a switch on their steering wheel. It'd be neat if it was back here behind your steering wheel. Then you need a lot longer wires than these, so maybe you'd solder right to there and solder to this little switch. So it's the same thing these this connector here is like the big the bigger uh, holes. Just like this. Um, voltage regulator, so you can have the 12 volts coming in. It goes down to 5 volts for this guy. This is where all the software and everything runs. A couple capacitors smooth out the voltage. There's a little timer, 16 megahertz. Um, there's a contrast knob there for the uh, screen. Here's your basic screen. Normally, it won't have this. I have this female header soldered on here, so I can connect these two and kind of take them on and off as I'm testing different screens. Um, when you really get it and you'll connect it, it'll be a lot thinner. You know, it'll be more like this probably. So that's those that's soldered actually on there permanently, and it's a lot thinner that way. Um, and then here's the little sensor. So this is they call this a 10 degrees of freedom. It has uh, four different sensors on it. There's a barometer, um, accelerometer, gyroscope, and a magnetometer for the compass. And uh, the trick with this is when you mount this thing in your truck. You want this to be parallel to the ground, if at all possible. It'll make the uh, inclinometer more accurate and the uh, compass as well. So this has a right angle header soldered on it. So that way, let's say the display is going to be, you know, vertically in your truck. So you'd be looking at it like this. When you put the sensor in, you want the sensor to be horizontal to the ground. So when you solder this together, it's going to go like that. So that way the sensor is, you know, level with the ground and you're viewing the display. So. If you have this thing mounted horizontally for some reason, like let's say it's down in your cup holder and you want to look down at it, then I'll include some straight headers with this as well. So you'll be able to, you'll have to solder it you know, like this so that it's still flat with the ground. So it'll become soldered, you know, sort of adjacent to the chip there. <clears throat> um, okay, let's plug in power here and see. So the screw terminal isn't really ideal if you're going to use the uh, 9 volt connector here. switch here and of course you can see that the, the uh, sensor here isn't soldered on so I'm just gonna slide in here and kind of hold it to try to keep contact so the sensor might go in and out but in reality of course it'll be soldered on there and it'll be nice and stable all right so let's get our power going here and I love this cap it's a nice little hard plastic cap and it covers the terminal so you know, you can kind of mount this anywhere. You don't have to worry about it grounding out, touching part of the truck or anything. So there's our uh, default screen. Is our pitch and roll for the inclinometer. And then these are our little navigation switch here. There's our altimeter. There's the compass. So I have the cardinal direction and the actual you know, degree measurement. Um, and then here's the, the function I just added, which is the multi-view. So this is showing you everything at once. So there's pitch, it has a little kind of forward and back arrow, roll, left and right, altitude, compass. And then from there, so there is a temperature sensor on one of these boards. However, the, the sensor itself heats up from usage, so I, it is not 86 degrees in this room right now. But the sensor was on there, so I included it. Um, 
in the future I might have a software update that'll try to make this a little more accurate. Maybe I can compensate, you know, always remove 10 degrees or something. So you can track altitude. So the idea is here you kind of reset this to zero, which was reset earlier. But um, let's say you're, you're got a big hill you want to climb, you want to find out how tall it is. So you reset this at zero at the base and then start driving, and it'll count up as you go, starting from zero. Um, your min max altitude. So here's the minimum maximum altitude it's seen since it was last powered on. So you kind of see you know, the deepest valley and the highest peak you reached. You can calibrate the altimeter. So the altimeter in here is just a barometer, which just measures air pressure, which changes with the weather. So you never really know based on air pressure, your actual altitude. So the idea is here, if you can get, you know, you can reference like a GPS unit that gets altitude from satellites, which will be a little more accurate usually. So if you can reference that and then set this to the proper. So, you know, if I know it's actually 1080 at my house, where I am now, now the altimeter will start at 1080 and measure from there. And it'll keep that uh, calibration between starts and stops of this thing. But again, over time, as the pressure changes, that's going to kind of go off. Um, calibrating the inclinometer itself. So each sensor on here seems to be a little bit different. So the idea is when you first get this and you hook it up, you're going to take this and you're going to rotate it through all the dimensions. You'll see those numbers getting higher and higher, and we're getting lower and lower. So you're going to kind of rotate it through all possible dimensions here. We're going to rotate it forward and back. I think the sensor got disconnected, so it kind of reset itself there. But and then the idea is then you would set that, and now your incline will be a little more accurate because you you found the extents of that sensor left, right, up, down, back, forth. Um, and then I think the final one here is the brightness. So for the regular LED screens, you can set the brightness on them all the way down to off. Um, the OLED screens are just always on or always off. There's no brightness control. And then uh, I think we have a factory reset. So if, if you want to get rid of all your, your calibration settings, you can always do a factory reset. It wipes everything out and starts over from scratch. And uh, that's it. I almost forgot to show you guys a couple more uh, features here. So assuming you don't get the sensor mounted perfectly level with the ground, you can always um, zero out the incline. So let's say there is just about zero. If you click the button and you'll see screens that have a little star up here in the corner it means you can click it on the screen and it does something. So in this case, if you zero this out, now pitch and roll are zero there. And they move from there. Um, from the alt altimeter here, if you click it, it switches the metric. Switch back. On the compass, you know, the compass is measuring magnetic north, which is not going to be true north in most places. So you probably want to find yourself uh, true north-south running road. You can look on Google Maps and find one. And, you know, find where that is and then zero that out. So you can go there and zero it. Boop. And now you got north measured. Um, the multi-view doesn't have one yet, but maybe there's something I can do with that too. I don't know. We'll see. Um, temperature doesn't have one. Oh, temperature, sorry. So we'll switch from Celsius to Fahrenheit. Tracking the altitude. So clicking that resets that to zero. Min max, clicking that resets those to the current altitude. Calibrate, so you pick it and then clicking it sets that. And I think that's it. And the factory reset, you just click it there and reset it. Yeah. So there we go. There's uh, all features that currently exist. So let me know if there's anything else you see that you think that's missing. But otherwise, I'm going to get these beta boards out ASAP and. Uh, Hopefully have the real ones here, get all my parts in, and have the real ones on the store next month, hopefully. So.